Blood was wearing blue rags. Blood was wearing all color rags just a couple years ago. I'll tell you something that's funny. Is that everybody in the beginning of this wore blue rags. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Blood was wearing blue rags. Blood was wearing all color rags just a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? Blood was wearing blue rags. Blood was wearing all color rags just a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? But now he's so whooping, blood. I'm blood and all this shit. Blood, no goodwill, blood. If you be the shit, you know you ain't no blood, homie. No family. Boy, if you don't. Yeah, you shouldn't be no cap line. No, AKA Tagline. Who? On the east side, 89th Street, 5th Street, 92nd Street, Court. Alright, you know what it is. Unique Make Audio, man. I'm here. I don't broke down to y'all what cause is. You know, cause is how they break it down out here. They call it gangs and all that, but in there, they just call it cause. You know what I mean? The New York call, the DC call, the Dirty South call, the Sereno call, the Border Brother call, the GD call, cause. Cause is a crew, all right? That's what we called it back in the day. Now y'all call it a gang. 89 Street, Fast Laws, 92nd Street Court. We don't give a fuck! And um, I'm just here to present you at Westbound Music, West Coast, Go Life. You, you for what? Nigga, I'm from South Side Ontario, man, from the Black Pit. Oh, man. Hey, you, from sa you, you from South Side, what? South Side Crip, Ted, I thought you did that. South Side Crip? Oh, you want them crab ass nigga. <laughs> you cry about it, nigga. You want them crab ass nigga. You cry about it, 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 nigga. You cry about what that name is? You know Leesky? Leesky? Yeah, he's GD. Oh, GD? Yeah. GDK. Okay, that's what you about. Yeah. I'm digging them Crip. You Crip? Yeah. I ain't gonna say that because I like them. Oh, yeah. Crip K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really about that, though. Yeah. But no disrespect to LA, though. Where you from? You said you from Brooklyn? Yeah. They don't honor y'all? Yeah. They don't honor y'all? Huh? They don't honor y'all. Who don't honor LA don't honor y'all. don't fuck with LA. Nigga. I know y'all don't fuck with LA. Yeah. Don't fuck with LA. yeah. Don't Why y'all disrespecting them like that? Disrespecting. Why y'all disrespecting them like that? Disrespecting LA? Yeah. How the fuck you figure that? You know I know what's up, right? right. What y'all did? And y'all try to say day, they did it. Alright then. Y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta straight that out. Old, right? Man, y'all gotta straighten that out, man. Before it go down with this bitch. On live. 50 years old. Oops, I got him on camera. Hey, man, these niggas be hoes, bro. You a hoe? I, 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 I,
It's if you can pull it up right now, cuz. Let me pull it up, cuz. Because it's on it's on it's on Google, cuz. Mexican war, the Crips versus Mexicans in LA. Let's Google it, cuz. You niggas, you niggas call pussy, cuz. You niggas went back to killing innocent kids and shooting up the neighborhood, cuz. You niggas didn't buck essay them, cuz. Vato loco home. The Mexicans kick your ass home. Let's look it up, man. Oh no, I got it. Yeah, yeah, I hate you crip talking to that nigga. What's up, cuz? Come to LA. Nigga, you niggas can't leave LA. Cause every time you nigga leave LA, you nigga be friendly in the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, every time you LA nigga leave LA, y'all be friendly in the motherfucker. Look out for me on the cold red DVD. And uh the blood presents the right side. Volume one and volume two. Get that uh LA State of Mind mixtape on ww.pimp. Dot com, type in keg lock. You got that on the house. 20 songs. Bangers, too. You in here? Fool this man! <laughs> what I really want to get at, blood, is a lot of niggas banging the five point store, blood. And that's irrelevant to the blood gang, homie. A lot of niggas banging the five point store, blood. And that's irrelevant to the blood gang, homie. Jesus! We don't give a fuck! Straight up, 21 years in this shit, 1989. Motherfucker can't tell me a damn thing about this banger shit, homie. Right? Wrong. We y'all New York niggas, y'all both B more niggas, Florida niggas, all y'all niggas across the states, homie, that's riding a five point storm, that shit's irrelevant to the blood gang, homie. I'm just gonna tell you one more time. Halfway, take a halfway, take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. Way. You ain't yeah. got the answers. Uh, you, you ain't got you, the answers. If, if you if you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. Nigga been putting, pushing this issue since like 08 right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we got our own little DVD coming out, the Nationwide Down the Rider movie, and what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, this shit is so ass. Y'all make sure y'all go get that shit. It's in the making right now as we speak. How about no? And uh, we're going to put it down, you know what I'm saying, let the motherfuckers know what it's really about and what's really not, what it really is, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to speak on none of them rappers and shit. A lot of y'all rappers and shit that's rapping need to know who real blood is and who not real blood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it do not matter. I can say it's the ones I know come from the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? What? Nigga know who real blood is and who not real blood, you know what I'm saying? He's a fake blood, bro. I think he got put on in prison. I don't think he's really like that. I can say it's the ones I know come from the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Everybody from Florida tried to go against me. I'll send you a count in the watch, or Inglewood. You ain't from none of them. You rapping, you claiming blood. To me, it's irrelevant. Who the hell are you? But at the same time, it is what it is, my nigga. I'm a little cap gun for that neighborhood family, you know what I'm saying? Bird gang. I saw Custer shit. Let's give it 50 fish. Three's Custer shit, yeah. All the homies that's VIP blood. Families in peace, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Let's get it. 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 let us get it 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 let us
Real talk, nigga. It is what it is. When I be, I be, you be me. It is what it is, bro. I'm just a fuck, homie. That's to all the cake lock haters. To all the niggas that ain't fucking with cake lock, eat a dick, bro. Yeah, what's up, nigga? Birds, nigga. Damn, nigga. Watch out for my DVD coming real soon, nigga. The nationwide Donald Friday. All right, welcome back. It's the dog. If this is your first time at Swoop Reactions, make sure I hit the like and subscribe button and comment. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Uh, give you all my final thoughts. So going over this key Glock, you know, running his mouth in that um, documentary that he did, y'all, that one and only documentary y'all seen this motherfucker on when he's um, standing right next to the, you know, uh, blood the five bloods the bloods who ride the five both jiri and um t rogers from bps you know two bloods that ride the five all right bloods that have uh you know worn auxiliary colors other colors than just uh red you know and even you know the parus and all these other dudes like they know that they be pulling out them burgundy rags and shit though you know and i'm just saying like y'all ain't got no problems with that right like, you know, that's kind of crazy. It's that jealousy, you know, <laughs> jealousy. Yeah, yeah, I know about some jealousy. That's some jealous ass hook ass shit that y'all niggas was doing. Um, I didn't, I wasn't fucking with that cold red DVD shit, that miseducation of bloods. Let's be real. Now that was miseducation, it was misinformation. Yeah, I know it was. And um, a lot of people criticized T. Rogers, not only T. Rogers, but the whole entire LA blood cards or blood, whatever the fuck. This dude's talking about cars and shit like that, blood. Nobody give a fuck about your little prison gang click from Swans and all this bullshit, blood. We don't give a fuck about that. Uh, the Swans are known as the devil worshippers of the bloods. Blood. The Johnson brothers went to extreme lengths to protect a small strip of territory they had and completely terrorized the community doing so. Their reputation morphed into bloodthirsty Satan worshippers who will stop at nothing to give the enemies hell. Look here, y'all big homie, evil, it was a devil worshiping satanic uh fucking i don't remember, i ain't ever gonna over whoop on that dude but yeah we, we yeah, he was a devil worshiper to this day fucking the whole swans we, as far as i know y'all a bunch of devil worshiping ass mark ass punk ass backdoor ass lobster ass motherfucking crabs and red rags when you was doing your thing on the east side did you ever run across evil in time bomb uh, man, Evil, we was in the pen together. Uh, so Evil came up to me in a sinister from Swan, you know, and Evil, you know, all of them, they was doing their thing, worshiping the devil. And I was trying to worship the devil, you know, all in the crypt module and shit, because I got bitter with God, you know, but I knew, I knew, I knew God. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Expl exp explain that, mm -hmm. worshiping the devil. What does that mean? Well, that, that mean like... What's the process in that? What are you doing? The process and everything in that, you know, just like they got uh, the Holy Bible, they got devil Bibles. They got devil churches. Who the fuck introduced you to that shit? Well, I got a little, uh, I got a pamper from a white boy when I was in the crib mines in the county jail. I went to court and the white boy was telling me about it and everything. And uh, so I was like, I was like, you know, uh, in the wheelchair, shot up. Then as soon as I started walking, got out the wheelchair. Two years later, I get shot seven more times. So I was just like bitter towards God, you know, but I knew God. Miles took me to church all the time. I knew Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior, you know, and died for my sin. But I got bitter. I was like, well, God, God letting all this happen to me. I was like, shit, fuck it, motherfucker, shoot me, and I'm in the wheelchair, and then gonna shoot me again, and I'm in the wheelchair, and, and shit. So I was like, I fucked up shooting everybody. I was like, I want everybody with a limp. All you motherfuckers so just what you live. Doing? You, you, you so, practicing this shit, writing the so stars I, on the ground and all yeah, that? Yeah, so I took off. The guy told me what to do, so I wrote these people in Texas, the devil church. They sent me a devil Bible. So I started uh, taking the Bible, reading it and shit, and I started doing this shit on the floor with the candles and shit in it. So I got this dog one time and said, get the dog feet and put it in the candle in the middle of the circle with a with the star. So I shot the dog in the alley, cut his feet off with the little ax thing I had. And I took it and put the shit in the circle and the homies laugh and they like, look at this dude, this nigga burned out. So I'm sitting there doing all of this satanic shit and I'm putting curses on swans and 
and I'm putting curses on swaz and hoovers and broadways and, and I'm doing this curses and shit. I'm up here doing all this shit. And the homies, I, we on the streets in my mother's garage in the back. I mean, her shack, she had a patio. She let me turn the patio into a shack. So I'm in there doing all this shit and sick, sick stuff and screaming out, say names, shot light, you know, and, um, you know, and all the devil names, you know, like uh, my cousin, uh, my cousin Nestor and Tony, they named their dogs Satan and Shylight, which was devil names, you know. And so when I had the devil book, I seen those same names and I was, you know, so I used to sit around and say little satanic shit while we on 69 in the apartments, game banging and shit. I, I say the- didn't run away from you? No, a lot of homies was like, you know, I ain't, I ain't fuck my cuz, cuz, when that devil worship and shit. But then I had my crew that fucked it with me that was just like, they knew me, like me, Lil Kooky, Mac Nine, you know, Lil Stein, and uh, Lil Cass, you know, all of us, uh, Duck Down, you know, Big Duck Down, and, uh, you know, all of us, uh, Lil your, Snoop. These are your converts? You converted them? No, all them laughed at me, but they hung with me, because they like this nigga, but here you go. So I just do the little shit wherever we be at or say the little <laughs> shit. And then when we got in the gang module, I started doing it in my cell. So when the shares come by the cells, they used to be, you know, new booties, basically, fits to be shares and working in the county. So they'll bring like 30 of them inside the gang module and let them walk in the gang module and walk to your cell and talk, it, talk to the Crips all in the cell. And they'll take them down to the blood module next. So when they come to my cell, they stop at my cell and all the, you know, the white ladies, the black ladies, and the Asians, whoever, you know, whatever race, Mexican, they like, they stop and the men be like, oh, what's up, where you from? And I'll be in the cell like, oh, I'm from East Coast Script. They like, what is all that on your wall? And they read in there, I'm like, yeah, I watch the devil. They like, oh, you do? <laughs> and they look on the wall, I got 666, shot like Satan, and all kind of Satan names. My whole cell was rolled up like that, you know, my floor. So, so look, mm -hmm. when, you, when you come across the, the, those family swans that practice your religion, did you guys bond, or what, what was the? It was like, it was like, it was like when I ran across evil, we was in the pen together, so it was more like, I was more like, uh, Oh shit, this evil, I heard about them. You know, they was killing like a motherfucker like me. And I'm like, damn, they put in work, got murders on the motherfucker. I got murders under my they worship the devil. And I was like, damn, that's evil from Swan. I wanna meet him, I wanna meet him. He you know, he was like, What's up, little doc? And we both shook hands, meet and kicked it, started lifting weights together and shit. So evil was like, he was like, Doc, let's take a picture. You hold a red rag, I hold a blue one. And then I'm gonna hold a blue one on the next picture and you hold a red, you know. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. I don't give a fuck. So we come out on the yard and we squat out. So we hold, he got the red rag like this and I got it. So we take a picture, boom. Then we, then we got the blue rag on the next picture. So the whole yard was looking at us like, the fuck? You know, cause you know, Christian blood is like, what, what the fuck is Doc doing? Touching the, even touching the red rag. <laughs> He taking a picture with the blood, nigga, and holding the red rag, you know? See, when you don't give a fuck, you'll do shit like that. And we didn't give a fuck. We was like, you, you know. speak about this, this, the devil worshiping together? And, and oh, yeah, we together. talked about, man. He was start talking about that. And I said, y'all was over there watching the devil doing y'all shit, too. I was like, I had the Bible and everything, you know. I, I did it all. I went all out. I was doing it, too. You know, I was killing cats and shit, everything, bringing them in there, worshiping over them, doing my shit, <laughs> making the rituals. So, you know, Evil was like, he was like, yeah, we just worship the devil. We was just like, shit, we doing Satan work. We were Satan, fuck that shit. We don't have to hear no religion, no, we with the devil. Just the boogeyman, huh? Yeah, so we lifting weights, talking like this and shit. We buffing, talking like this. What, what then, pin was this? Huh? What pin was this? This was at Vacaville. What years was this? This was um, about 88 or 89, I think, like that. But I turned around and... um. My um, my girlfriend named Irma back in the days, and me and Irma, we was you know we was in love like you know we really loved each other and shit. I was her first love. She was like my first love. We was we was in love and uh, we was together like five years, best friends, everything you know. So then uh, what happened was we uh, Irma, I was in the county jail, watching the devil doing all that, and Irma knew about it on the streets. 
So she kept, she, she was like, I'm gonna tell your mama. And she was like, you better stop all this. I'm gonna tell your mama. And your I was- had no idea. Nah, and mom's Christian to the heart and raised me like that as a Christian. So Irma was like, that's it, I'm tired of this. You, you're doing too much, Bill. So she went and told my mother and then I called from county jail talking to my mother and my mother was like, boy, they tell me you in there talking about you washing the devil. And I was like, no, nah, who said that? She was like, no, 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 don't, don't play with that stuff, Paul. Don't be doing that. And she was like, yeah, Irma told me you in there washing with the devil. I said, no, nah, no, nah, no, I'm not. I said, I ain't doing nothing like that, mama. So my mother was real, like, you know, kind of hurt and talking to me about that. And I said, I said, no, nah, I, I said, trust me, mom, for real. You know, you raised me on, on I know Jesus. And she was like, she said, I know you're probably bitter and hurt thinking, you know, God don't love you, but don't be doing that. Don't be trying to worship no devil because, see, God loves you. He got, God got plans for you, you know. And all. So I was like, oh, I know, mom, I ain't worship no devil, mom. So I came back and got off the phone with her. I just took all that shit off my wall, my floor. Oh, that was the phone call that made you stop. Yeah, I, I, I got rid of the book, everything. And I, and I told her, I'm a good looking out. You're right. God love me. I ain't, I, I ain't going to go against God. Because I was going against him like a mad at him. Fuck it. Send me to hell. I don't give a fuck. I'm in hell already. Shot the fuck up, painted. I don't give a fuck. So I was like, fuck it, shit. I'm killing. I'm going to hell. He said, you should die, should not kill. I done killed. I don't give a fuck. Nah, I, killed. I didn't kill a few motherfuckers, so I know I'm going to hell. So I was like, ain't no sense of trying to uh, uh, save yourself. I done fucked up. So I didn't know the Bible that good like that. Mm -hmm. I took I took it like, you know, oh, I didn't kill people. I'm going to hell. The Bible's full of killers. That's what, that's what Miles was showing me. So she was showing me, and, and she showed me this. She said, I want you to read about Paul in the Bible. So I read about Paul, and when I finished, I would call her from jail and say, hey, mama, I read the, about Paul. I said, he was killing Christians, mom. And oh, she was yeah. like, you see that? Y'all a bunch of devil worshiping ass, mark ass, punk ass, backdoor ass, lobster ass, motherfucking crabs in red rags. <laughs> the fuck I call y'all niggas? The fuck dirty bird ass niggas? And, and let's keep this real, blood. I don't know no motherfucking swans. I ain't never met no swans. Swans are fucking irrelevant than a motherfucker um, outside of California, blood. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. Now, um, <laughs> y'all niggas are mad jealous of um, Dipset. Let's keep it real. The, the fuck, they took the Bird Gang and made that shit famous. You niggas never made the Bird Gang famous. Don't nobody even never heard y'all niggas talking about Bird Gang. Y'all niggas Blood Gang, but y'all over here talking about Bird Gang, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When uh motherfucking when when Jim Jones and them niggas turned uh turned that Bird Gang shit made it popular. I never heard your Bird Gang song. <laughs> Hold on, that Purple City Bird Gang each side of body, that Purple City Bird Gang. Hey, look, y'all was jealous of that. Let's keep it real. Y'all niggas was jealous of the motherfucker. Y'all seen the success coming out from that east. From the east. <laughs> okay, yeah, the east coast was, uh, you know, running the scene at the time. The music scene, uh, you know, they're very popular. They were uh, going up. And instead of embracing the homies and, um, you know, trying to, like, elevate the homies and, you know what I'm saying, show the homies love and guide them and, and you know, align with them. Y'all decided y'all gonna fucking try to what soft extort them or some shit. Is this what soft extortion type shit? What the fuck? You got these niggas talking about. Oh, y'all gotta pay homage to us. No, the fuck we don't. Fuck y'all. We ain't gotta pay no goddamn homage to y'all. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, we can pay homage to y'all. We can fuck with y'all. We can rock with y'all and all that. And I think those dudes try to do that. But come on now, y'all was over whooping. Y'all was over whooping and then they just said, fuck y'all niggas. That's really what it was. Let, let's keep it real. That's what I'm going to assume it was. Because, uh, you know, T was explaining it. He explained it a lot of times. He said that Jim Jones used his uh, used some of his stuff right in his music. And I'm like, all right, that should be flattering, which I, th I think it was flattering for him. You know, he's like, yeah, come through. You know, when you come up here, come through and all that stuff, you know, obviously. So Jim Jones, he, he was like, <laughs> come through, fuck all that. Yeah, and like, like I said, Jim Jones, 
he was on some different type of timing. Like he wasn't uh, like the type to try to check in. Like look here, he wasn't checking in. He wasn't for none of that soft extortion or whatever the fuck y'all niggas had going on with that nigga. But he was like, fuck all that. He, but he ain't gonna come. He ain't rock a flocker. He ain't trying to come and kick it with y'all niggas. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't doing that. Shout out Waka Flocker though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Uh, now, those who do go down in other states and tap in with other sets and stuff like that, like, I like seeing that. Like, I, I love seeing when uh, Waka Flocka and Brick Squad Monopoly, you know, they were going to other sets and other states and stuff, and too. And, um, you know, they were showing their face and, you know, showing a lot of love. Even up here, when they got up here, they checked in with the hood. And they had a lot of homies talking about, uh, you know, Brick Squad Monopoly, that they were trying to, you know, push Brick Squad Monopoly and shit. And I was like, man, y'all niggas, man. So, yeah, every time you get a, a new blood rapper from wherever, wherever the fuck he bubbling and popping, and he come up here, next thing you know, a bunch of niggas talking about they they, they with him now, you know. They, 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 they claiming to be pushing his music, right? So you got a bunch of fanboys and shit like that, homeboys trying to get on. By uh, claiming where fuck these niggas claiming, so we have a bunch of Mozzie wannabe motherfucking Oak Park ass Parkians up in this motherfucker, you know, <laughs> we're trying to bang the foe with motherfucking Mozzie. I'm like, fuck funky finger banging ass Mozzie blood, fuck that nigga. But you know, just like I said, uh, he came up here just like Brick Squad Monopoly, and he checked in, and you know, what I'm saying he was pushing that mandatory check in type shit. You feel me? I ain't tripping on checking in. I ain't tripping on homeboys uh, reaching out and tapping in with other homies and shit like that. Uh, if that's what y'all choose to do, cool. If y'all don't choose to do it, all right, that, that's that's on you. But I ain't gonna front. Like I ain't gonna say like it's something that's frowned upon, but it is what it is. But you know, just have some fucking decency. But uh, even if you don't check in or check in or whatever have you, right? You know, I think. You know, obviously, we should, uh, you know, address things of that nature, issues. If there is an issue, whatever, get your issue out, you know, handle your candle. You know, does it need to be a public thing where we all know that you got an issue and that you're trying to get at blood? You know, I don't think so. It's like, but that should be handled in private. You know, a lot of our issues should be handled more in private, blood. I ain't gonna front. And, um, you know, you know, even me, like I, I had a, I had a little public back and forth with Jim Jones, and you know, I regret that honestly. I regret having a public issue with Jim Jones. I still have an issue with Jim Jones. We should have just handled that more privately. You know what I'm saying? We should have. Had, I should have handled that more privately. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't even made the, the the whole little issue public with with how I felt about Jim Jones. Uh, any to begin with, right? When I was younger. That was like ten years ago, but I was a lot younger. I was a lot more, you know, just 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 a little hot headed at the time. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't no fool. I wasn't no dummy or nothing like that. But you know, I was I was a little bit more hot headed, and I should have ha handled that uh, in private. You know what I'm saying? It should have been a private matter. I, you know, like I used to be this dude's uh, one of his biggest fans. But I used to be Jim Jones, one of Jim Jones' biggest fans. Been rocking around with that nigga ever since Certified Gangsters. So it kind of hurt my feelings when um when Blood was just like fuck us type of shit. He's <laughs> like fuck everybody. But I can see you know being in you know uh, uh being in a position where you you dealing with a whole bunch of homies that uh really don't fuck with you like that. You feel me? And you done took the blood identity and made it popping, and you know you done took all around the world, and you done put it on your back and all this shit, and you got these uh, niggas set tripping on you, you know, telling you that your gang ain't this, your gang ain't that. Blood, it's, it, I would imagine it's a, it's a crazy, it'd be a crazy uh, feeling, you know, to feel like that after you done did all this stuff for the gang, and how the gang has treated these niggas in the, in the entertainment and in the public and all that stuff. Like I can see how a lot of homies will be feeling the white blood. So, uh, you know, you know, yeah, I'm not tripping on uh, Jim Jones today, blood. I wish Jim Jones uh, success, you know. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna front, you know. I wish him success. Uh, he, he is a legend in this game. Um, he's, a, he's a legend as far as being a homie, you know, um, and pushing his line and all that. He's, he's a legend for that, blood. He done took blood. He done 
put it on the map, you know what I'm saying, on, on the east out there. And, um, yeah, if it wasn't for Jim Jones and Nine Trey and all them niggas, man, like, uh, you know, the, the east coast would look a lot different than it does today, but, and they, they, uh, they, man, I tell you, they, they produced a lot of, uh, timeless music, you know what I'm saying, shit that's just still, uh, you know, stuck on us, you know what I'm saying, we was raised off a of dip set, but I ain't gonna front. A lot of us was raised off a of dip set. Shout out to the diplomats, shout out to, uh, all the homies that made that timeless music for us to kind of grind to, uh, you know, get, get our minds right, you know, I ain't gonna say it got our minds right or nothing like that, but it just gave us insight to that East Coast thing. So shout out to the homie, I ain't tripping on you or nothing like that. Like, you know, it's nothing but love and respect. And um, I appreciate the music. I appreciate the, the, the you pushing the line for the homies out there and making a way where, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, it, is, it is what it is. Despite, you know, how I feel about your performance, performances and your shortcomings and all that shit, blood. You know, uh, I've been in those situations and I can relate, you know, go sit here and try to play high power and shit like that. Nah, nigga, uh, you know, I don't, we done had our issues and our faults and, um, despite you falling out with BPS and all that shit and falling out with T, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping on you, but uh, we get beyond that. We all bloods at the end of the day. You know, despite what you done paid or didn't pay or do, did and didn't do. Like, we all bloods at the end of the day. You know, it's much love and respect. Shout out to all the nine trays. I'm a tray. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to, you know, stand with the homies. You know, and I would have I would have loved uh, for uh, you, 6 9 and all of us to be able to come together and hang out and uh, show love and, 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 and throw the bee up high in the sky and, and made the bloods great again, blood, for real. <laughs> so I ain't tripping on my fucking uh, Jim Jones no more. And I shouldn't have been tripping on him back in the day. I just shouldn't have. <clears throat> uh, despite how I felt about him and him not fucking with us, I could see why he wasn't fucking with us at the time. You know what I'm saying? We was on a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Who's on dirt blood? Who's on dirt gang shit? Who's on a whole lot of dirt gang shit, but <laughs> you know, respect five. So I ain't tripping on five. Um, and I used to trip on that too. Like people would call me five back in the day, and I'd be like, man, I ain't no damn five. <laughs> From the 30s, nigga, <laughs> do that five shit. But listen, the hood used to be fives. All of us used to claim five. So it's like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, blood, stop, stop over whooping, right? I'm like, I had to keep on catching myself from like, you know, telling these niggas, oh yeah, I ain't no five, blah blah blah. And I'm like, blood, I kind of, I am a five. So I was like, blood, just embrace it, you know what I'm saying? Stop being in denial. Stop trying to sit here and and push the vision and shit like that. Like, and they, and they like, oh, I'm gonna tell niggas, oh, I'm not no cuz, don't cuz me and all this shit. Don't five me, don't cuz me. And all this other shit, blood. I ain't got time for that shit, blood. I ain't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then on top of that, all of us, we was all using cuz at one point. All of us said cuz. All of us said loke at one point, too, man. We was all lokes. We was all cuz. We all bloods. So I shouldn't be tripping on that. I shouldn't be tripping on the five like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we was all banging the five at one point, blood. I ain't tripping on the homies. I ain't tripping on the East Coast, West Coast. I ain't set tripping with, with, with no homies from the B, blood. I got blood love for everybody, blood. I ain't tripping on none of y'all niggas. Not the Swans, not the Brims, nigga. We are the Brims. <laughs> we are the Brims, nigga. What the fuck? Fuck am I tripping on you hook-ass, rim-ass niggas? Yeah, I might diss y'all niggas, but blood, it's still bloods. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's still bloods. And I, I ain't got to sit here and tell y'all I'm a brim to be a brim, blood. Like, you see the fucking brim on my head, blood. You see the crown on my head, blood. So, I got a lot of love and respect for everybody, including the motherfucking hook guy sway niggas. And let's just get that out the way, blood. I got love for all the swans, you know, all the homies that put it down. I got much love and respect for all you niggas. 
who done really put it down for the turf. However, like, you know, just like there's homies I salute from your hood, there's homies I don't fuck with in your hood. And just like there's some homies I salute in my hood, there's homies I don't fuck with in my hood, blood, I'm 3 -0. But listen, um, all that 30 gang, swan, bird gang shit, like, I'm from blood gang. Hit what I stand for. Blood gang. Hit what I stand for. Blood gang. Hit what I stand for. And um, I mean that shit. You know, I'm, I'm from blood gang. You know, ain't nothing bigger than blood gang. I, I know bird gang and. 30 gang sound good and all that shit and, and it's entertaining. I might use it in the rap or some shit like that. You know, I might rhyme and shit like that. It might sound good. Paru gang or whatever fuck lame shit. We talking about blood, but listen, uh, we from blood gang. If we gonna keep it real, it's bloods. So I ain't tripping on no motherfucking um, other homies. From wherever the fuck they from, whatever set they doing, blood. I ain't set tripping blood. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front my move on y'all like that. Y'all need to get y'all mind right, and um, you know, put this B before all that other bullshit y'all got going on, blood. Cause this blood, I got love for all the homies, all the dom moves out there. Got a lot of love and much respect for y'all. And, you know, in the past, when I was younger, tripping, sat tripping and shit like that, I apologize formally um, for my for, for, for my part in that and for all my homies' parts in that. You know, let me let y'all know that from Southside 30 Blood, ain't nothing but love and respect, trace respect for everybody out there, blood. Um, we ain't tripping on y'all. We want the best for y'all and for your neighborhoods, for your families and your communities. And for, you know, the unity between all of us as Bloods, we need to stop all that set tripping and shit. And we need to come together and unify. And, you know, just unify or die, Blood. I, you know, I don't respect none of that uh, hook ass set tripping and shit like that, Blood. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, that's another reason why I got out here in the first place. To, uh, you know, bring awareness and, you know, just letting the homies know, like, for sure. The truth will set us free, blood. And opinions like mine need to be recognized and they need to be, you know, shared and shown so that we can grow and get beyond this hook ass, uh, K flock ass bullshit, even bullshit that I've done and said in the past. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm here to clean that up and I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me. And I want y'all to, you know, uh, see us in the light that we truly are with the intentions that we truly uh, pushed out despite, you know, our shortcomings or the times where we said silly shit, done silly shit, and may have not put our best uh, performance out there, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and gave the gave this um, perception that was not becoming of us as elders or big homies or, or, or good leaders or any of that type of shit, man. And we got to keep it real, too. Shout out to the East Coast Bloods. Man, um, what Mac Baller Blood uh, OG Mac did for the homies out there is respectable. I, I had to give him nothing more than um, respect and honor for forming or being assistant or being used and utilized to form the UBN out there in, on the East Coast. Because if y'all don't know, the Latin Kings were, you know, Attacking motherfuckers. They was attacking everything coming into the county. If they're black, they were getting attacked. And it was only due to the unification of the blacks as Bloods and Rikers that got them out of that situation as far as being attacked and being exploited and extorted and oppressed in the prison systems. As you know, civilians or individuals who didn't have any street gang ties. Now, Mac and them pushed back and protected a lot of homies, put them in positions and organized them and utilized them and um, put their thing together. And I had nothing but respect for that. Um, shout out to them for that. And shout out to Mac, despite Mac being a rat or whatever that y'all trying to say that he is now or whatever. 
I could see why he would, uh, you know, do all that type of shit. Uh, however, listen, uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, lonely road, man, being a leader, being somebody who's actually, you know, uh, founded things and pushed lines for things. And a lot of y'all can't relate. A lot of y'all ain't never been in that position. See, I can't relate to uh, what, you know, we go through as being leaders and being someone from our sets. A lot of you nobody know ass rapping, capping ass motherfuckers like Key Glock. Somebody who ain't a factor in his own fucking hood. Somebody that's never been a somebody from his hood. Never pushed no lines and never did shit. The only thing this motherfucker did was go to prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Non factor ass nigga in prison. Some prison rapping ass nigga, capping ass nigga. Listen, when it comes to Mac. And the OG uh, blood niggas who's putting in work on the uh, on Rikers, and not only just Rikers, but you know in the hood, publicly, uh, I want to salute to them, salute to them homies, no G homies out there, despite the fact that they either might not be G's anymore or fell off or whatever, they might be looking bad, they might not be looking like they were in their prime, like Jamel or Tookie or all these other motherfuckers, right? Everybody got their time, blood. And some some of these homeboys who are on this block now, some of these niggas might live under a fucking bridge or be living in a tent like fucking <laughs> like uh oh blood they like like fucking like monster <laughs> you know, monster in his life he in a fucking tent dead homeless in a tent. I'm not tripping on the homies. I, I got nothing but respect and love for y'all. And um, despite you know your shortcomings. You know, you might have done a lot of shit, shit, <laughs> you know. Who knows, man? A lot of these dudes, a lot of these OG niggas, man, they ain't got a perfect resume, man. You you don't just leave with this uh with this perfectly, you know, non-blemished record and shit like that. That's not that's not reality, fool. Everybody done been through some shit and they had their ups and downs, they smiles and frowns. You know, that you know, we are the brothers of the struggle. We the bloods of the struggle, nigga. <laughs> we done been through some struggles. We bosses. That's you know, that's what a boss is, man. We go through struggle. And we are of the same struggle. So I'm not tripping on homies. I'm not tripping on none of y'all. Um, you know, I'm just here to demonstrate and to uh, you know, stop all the perpetrating out here. You know, for all these homies, you know, pushing out all this decision, dissension and misinformation. But like what y'all did with that whole miseducation of the bloods was nothing more than more miseducation. And I was really upset with uh, T. Rogers for participating in that. How the fuck is he going to participate with y'all talking shit about the five point star bloods? And he had their five point star blood. <laughs> Talking all this shit about uh, these niggas doing fruity activity when he's supporting Tupac fruity ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, I'm just saying there was a lot of uh, things that we could, uh, um, you know, criticize T. Rogers over. Even though a lot of people didn't criticize T. Rogers, a lot of people gave him respect and love and admiration despite the fact that he said a lot of shit that was in contradiction to, uh, you know, the shit that he should have been putting out, which is more high vibrational stuff. Um, obviously, he put out a lot of things. He presented a lot of things. You know, positivity and good work isn't usually um, respected. It is, doesn't go viral. Doesn't make you money. You know, uh, being a solid stand up individual, you know, it's not something you get famous from. It's not something that people would even give a flying fuck about. You actually putting in work in your community. People don't want to click on that. People don't want to share that. People don't want to talk about that. All they want to talk about is uh, negativity, things that they can utilize and exploit. So when individuals talk about, uh, you know, those who've uh, done actual work in their communities like myself and others, you know, Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't want to bring no uh, views to that. Y'all don't care about that. Y'all don't give a fuck about how 
you know, we give back to our communities and what we have done for our communities and the love that we have within our unity inside of our community, inside and outside of our communities. You know, y'all don't want to talk about that. And none of that stuff is, you know, popular, you know, because we have allowed, you know, ourselves to be overly um, indulged on the fuckery and nonsense and that's what we gauge ourselves off of and we gauge popularity uh, and, and, you know, the fuckery. Who who can produce the most fucking trash is, is somehow the most respected. It's, it's trash. It's garbage. And it's perpetrated by the evil ones like Adam 22, No Jumper, and the rest of them fools. So it is what it is. I'm not tripping. I'm not mad. I'm not bitter. I'm just going to continue on doing me. I'm continuing on sharing what I got to share and and putting out the messages that need to be put out. And shout out to everybody who's uh, living <laughs> the love, truth, peace, freedom and justice. Not just talking about it. Not just throwing up their fives. They, they represent the five, but they ain't living that five life. OK, they ain't living it. They ain't living it. Uh, I feel like you shouldn't be riding it. You shouldn't be perpetrating like you is when you're not uh, utilizing love, peace, truth, freedom, and justice like uh, myself and the elders and all the rest of us who strive to live that life. So, you know, from one five to the next fives, you know, shout out to all my fives because <clears throat> I'm a real fucking five, unlike you fake ass, hook ass fives who don't live that life. Even though y'all perpetrating running around with that star, but y'all star is upside down. Okay? Y'all live a backwards, upside down ass life. And y'all renegade, fallen fives. Y'all fried out. Y'all fried fake false fives. And y'all ain't living um, as upright fives. And it's the dog. I'm going to let y'all know. I got nothing but love and respect. Five all y'all. It's a dog. I'm out.